What is going on guys? Welcome back to video number 14 in my series on making a mobile game with JavaScript. And I am super excited. This is my first video as a college grad, so that's exciting. <laughs> so before I get started on this video today, I really wanted to thank everyone for their support on this series. I just wanted to encourage you guys to you know, leave comments down below my videos and just let me know what you think if, you know, if they're too fast or too slow or if there's something specific that you guys want to see, definitely leave a comment about it because, you know, I will make these videos according to what you guys want. So as you can see, I'm here at the top of my JavaScript document. And the first thing we want to do here is we're going to just run past this top stuff and we're going to come into the game because inside the game in it, we actually want to add something that calls our game loop because as of right now we have our game loop that will run forever but we don't have anything calling it to start it in the beginning so when the game first loads we just want to call game loop just the function and that will start the game loop for us and then it will just run forever while the game is on so i'm just going to jump down here all the way at the bottom to our focus that we wrote before and um, there's just a couple of things we want to add in the init and first, before we do that, I'm going to add one more property here, and I'm going to call it change. And we're just going to set it to an object. We can just make it empty. And then what we want to do inside the init now is the first thing is actually setting up a variable, and I'm going to call it f, because essentially this would be where our focus system, what our focus system is when we let go, because we want to find what system's closest to the middle. Um, but in this case, we're not going to do that yet. We're just going to say that the middle or F just set equal to systems zero. So we're just going to default the focus system to the middle for now. So every time you let go, it'll always focus back to the middle system. Then the next part that we want to do is we want to use that system now and grab its properties. So what we'll do is we'll actually create two new variables. We have a move X. And the move X is going to be the actual um, F dot end chords dot X and the variable move Y equals the F dot end chords dot Y. All right, and the next piece we need here is actually just to update that universe dot focus dot change and we're going to set that equal to an object with an X property that's set to move X and a Y property set to move Y and we do that because we need it for the update so like the the update function will be referencing that change and so we need to set it when we initialize this so now inside of here Inside the update, what we need to be doing is updating our systems, basically. So what we're going to do is run through a for loop. And we'll just do through i, and then, of course, the universe.systems.length, because we need to be getting the new coordinates every frame as it updates. So then the next thing we want to do is, like we covered in the easings, we want to actually grab variables for those over time. So the first variable we'll just call left because it's position, it's position from the left. So we'll say that this is going to be an ease.outexpo. And then what we want to do, and actually to make our lives easier here, I'm actually going to create a variable u and set it to the universe.focus. And what this does now is instead of having to write all this out, we can just do u because now u equals that. So that'll save us some time because we don't have to keep writing that long thing out there. So now we can just do u dot frame. And then what we want to do is from the left position, what we want to say is where it starts from is obviously where the system ended when you let go of the screen because that's where it currently is on the screen. So what we want to do is say the universe, whoops, the universe dot systems at the index dot end chords dot x. 
and that would be where our animation is starting from. And then obviously our ending animation is our change. So the ending animation in this case would actually be u dot change dot x. And then of course the last thing here is the u dot frames. And now what I'm going to do is make just another variable that gets the top. And it's going to be basically the same, except of course with the y values instead. So we'll do the same u dot frame, the universe dot systems i dot n coordinates dot y, and then u dot change dot y, and u dot frames. So now we have our left and our top values. So now we'll be able to use those values in this case. And the first thing we want to do is actually update these universe system coordinates. So we'll do this dot, and we'll say, you know, real time chords equals x as left and y as top. So that keeps our coordinates updated. And then we'll just copy this and we'll do the same thing with the um, regular chords. And then, of course, all that's left to do now is draw it on the screen because now we're just updating the codes, but now we want to actually show that to the player. So in this case, I believe our IDs that we made are right here. So we could copy this. If we just copy that line that we wrote, it's already editing the uh, transform. So then all we do in here, and remember, it wouldn't be completely because we are completely centered because we're not incorporating the radius yet. So we, what we want to do is actually do the left minus the radius. Or in this case, we'll make a variable for the radius first. And we'll just set this equal to the universe dot systems i dot radius and then we'll just subtract that radius variable so that will center it up for us and then we'll do the same thing with this and subtract the radius and then we'll just duplicate this line and do our regular transform as well and now of course the last thing we need to do here is we'll just jump up to the touch end and what we'll do is inside of the if statement, outside of this for loop, we'll actually write in our universe dot focus dot init. Because now when we let go of the screen, we want it to actually call that focus function, which will focus us back to the middle system. And one thing we actually have to fix before is we need to just change this to um, these move and move x and move y values just make them negative instead of positive um, because positive is going to put us push us in the wrong direction and now once you've got all of that in there it should be running for you now so when you go ahead and test on your phone you're going to see what you see above me where when you drag your finger and then let go of the screen it's going to jump you right back over to that middle system and it should always be in the center now you're going to see some weird issues with you know if you do it too quickly, it's going to be jittery and stuff like that. And we're going to go ahead and fix that in the next video. So stick around for that. Get excited and make sure to leave you know, a comment below and let me know what you think of the videos and what you'd like to see specifically coming up in my next videos. Also, make sure to subscribe and like my videos. And guys, I will see you in 15. So stick around.